Hey guys, Alex from Nothing Box TV. I have a question for you. What was the game that defined you as a gamer? Was it Halo? Smash Brothers Melee? Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball? Don't answer that one. Well, mine was Portal 2. I remember back in 2010 when Gabe Newell walked on stage during Sony's E3 press conference and my 15 year old mind was completely destroyed. Gabe had either always joked about or seriously insulted the capabilities of consoles, but he was actually there to announce Portal 2's release on PS3 and that it would not only be integrated with Steam, but you would get a free Steam copy as well. That sly dog knew what he was doing. I was already really looking forward to Portal 2, but for some reason this announcement is what made it for me. I had played games on PC before, but not the way I do now. I vividly remember LAN parties with my cousins who were already avid PC gamers, and we primarily played Total Annihilation and Half-Life Deathmatch, because other computers we had laying around were very plain old pre-built computers. But the thing is is that it didn't matter how beefy the specs were. Those are some of my favorite gaming related memories, and I think it's because of those moments, the seeds of PC gaming had already been sown into my epic gamer soul. However, my first experience with Valve games was with the Orange Box. Five games in one, Half-Life 2, it's two episodes, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. It was on PS3. Can we get a couple Fs to pay respect in the chat? Holy crap, that game was an OSHA violation to begin with. Frame rate issues, constant crashing, just everything about it was awful. But it was my first introduction to Portal, and it got me heckin' hyped for Portal 2. So anyways, April 18th comes along and Portal 2 was actually one of the few games I've ever pre-ordered. Now I know, we're not supposed to be doing that anymore. Also, it's the only game I ever went to a midnight release for. So I took the game home and probably stayed up until 4am playing it. I had to go to school the next morning, which was fun. I also remember beating it after I got home or the day after. I was a bit sad I beat it so quickly, but I still played it a few times more on PS3 over the years. Normally the story would end there, but Gabe Newell's plan worked. I already had the desire to game on PC, and with me trying to get Left 4 Dead running below 480p in windowed mode on my parents' dying gateway that would crash the moment it loaded in every time. Eventually my parents got me a decent laptop for school with a 540M in it, so it probably was slightly better than an Xbox 360 and it had a glorious 768p monitor or something. So when I got that bad boy, take a guess at what game I fired up. Go ahead, guess. I'll wait, don't look at the title. It was almost like an entirely different experience. It was one of my first times ever experiencing higher resolutions, frame rate, and the glorious mouse and keyboard to the fullest. It was like the memory of Portal 2 on PS3 was washing away after all these years. I felt right at home, as if Gabe Newell himself was whispering to me, I hope it was worth, worth the, the wait. wait. Well it was. My epic gamer brain had also matured and I found a new appreciation for the storytelling and writing. I missed out on a lot of easter eggs too the first time around, and holy crap, they added Steam Workshop to it too? Portal 2 on PC was like Portal 3, but Portal 2 on consoles was like, still Portal 2 on consoles. So you might be wondering what the point of this video was. I seriously don't know. I just love Portal 2, and I'm sure you do too. It was a magical experience on consoles, and it was an even more magical experience on PC. So this was the story of how Gabe Newell started destroying my wallet at 2013, and he's been coming back for my lunch money ever since. So if you like my dumb face and you like this video, maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay blessed. It takes your mind again. Got suckers Have you given up? Does it feel like a trial? Does it trouble your mind?